what's going on guys we are back with some more uh, dark pictures this time we will be playing a uh, little hope Straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. First 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all over. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Could you keep it down, please. <laughs> What the fuck? You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? 
She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. She's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Damn. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough You're this is You're not the me? only one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Not tonight. No way. The fuck? Tanya's late. She always is these days. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? Bigfoot, find the goddamn vinyl, will ya? Come on, man, take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? She's a kid, the fuck? Start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you ship that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> Think she was a Marine sergeant in a past life. It's curled up his eyes. He's being even more annoying than usual tonight. A real jerk. So what else is new? Hey, Dennis. <laughs> hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Crazy. Oh. Jesus, you scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. Don't you have a bath in peace? Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Someone should probably talk to her. <coughs> Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? It just upsets me. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. 
She's done something bad. I can't dream surprise. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her? If you don't have other plans? I'll go find her. Why? Growing up with such a great and supportive family. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Thanks, asshole. Distraction from this madhouse. I was about to say, let's try this. Okay, cool. Okay, yep, that's dope. is in even more trouble than I thought. Yeah. So music, she's erratic. about my family. I think so too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. Fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on.
kitchen's on fire. Are you fucking serious? Megan? Trapped in the attic. Get to the balcony. Anthony, help! Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! I can't breathe. Shit. This could be half our hit, so.
gemaakt. Kom. I know one of the games is about. Um, is about uh, the. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, E.J. Holmes, which is very old, which is dope. So. has happened or has it anyway look to the future I say life's but a walking shadow eh? you are about to enter a confusing perhaps disturbing world how disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcome that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts, so much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head? Or your heart? <coughs> there is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to be thine own self. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in 
God's loving embrace. <clears throat> Taylor, Kalashin, headstrong, sensitive. Sean Pog, Professor, rational, overbearing. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ah! Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? How is he doing anyway? Doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Yeah, there's no need to be an asshole. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaking up. You say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <sighs> Fucking thing, useless piece of crap! Might as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Ugh! my phone. Hey, anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope, no sign of him. Weird, he isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. Cool. That's the plan. See you soon. <coughs> hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. R who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, your college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <clears throat> Come on, you can do it. <sighs> yeah, okay. Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream, it was so real. Flames all around us, it was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. 
We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. You're wrong. If we stay here, someone will come down this road sooner or later. What is your problem? Relax, will you? I'm just not a girl who likes walking in the dark. The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker Shut we the can Shut the fuck up. Stick close behind me. Yeah, it's better if we all stay together anyway. I can't believe the driver taking off like that and ditching us. Maybe you didn't realize. Good. Hey, Daniel, you guys! I am not a guy? How are you two doing down there? This trail is the pits, but we're okay. This little detour is ruining my clothes. That's the headline here? Your clothes are ruined? Really? Easy, that outfit probably cost more than you earned in your life. My money's in the green. Don't you worry. <laughs> Money, that's what she wants to hear about. Hey, what's happening here? Not much. I'm just keeping their spirits up. Daniel! You got your phone? Mine's got zero signal. I guess it fell out during the crash. We staying here all night? We're gonna keep moving. See ya! You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. <laughs> well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Touche. Good to see you two, finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this will do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. <laughs> What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Costs nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? 
Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'd be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. Okay. Get off? No. Back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on. <clears throat> Barisol. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, be careful. Watch out. Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. right we walked dead straight going away from you so how'd we end up back here okay let's try something we'll all go together we came from that direction we must be able to go back that way i want everyone to stay real close no stragglers you want to put us on a kid's line okay okay i'm coming I can see through the fog. I admit that is a little odd. More than a little. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. Calm down. Okay. okay. Calm down. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. I never real. We have to get out of here right I need to think straight. Now. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? 
Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, just stick together. Why did you say we might all be dead? Do you really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you, you know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. I don't like the look of that place at all. Maybe they won't ask for ID. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is onto us. She knows. Who cares? I thought you'd have something to say seeing as Angela likes to get involved in your business. Better imagine whatever she wants. <laughs> I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. Are we standing here all night or are we going inside? Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure was a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. <coughs> you mean you're trapped I'm sorry here too? for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of... Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. You need to keep clear head. Right there, if you change your mind. I could definitely use one. <sighs> you shouldn't be drinking right now. I don't think it's a good idea. It's just a drink. Come okay. Back. Drinking's all I got left. You mean Why are you even here? Little hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. Why 
Why are you still here? Yeah, if the place is as dead as you say. What are you still doing here? Do I come and go? You know how it is. Anyway, I can't help you. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in the world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. <clears throat> what the hell is your problem? Just a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double twenty. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. <laughs> that is one <laughs> hell of a shot. <laughs> You did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Wait, yeah, that'll do for something. I'm just doing it in my.